it's a um, it's a uh, I don't know. You know, I have some milk every morning with my cereal, and I know I'm not alone, but what happens to all the milk jugs when we're done with them? Hi, I'm Joel Green, and welcome to Curiosity Quest Goes Green, the show that explores what you're curious about. And our quest letter today comes from Jamie in San Francisco, and she wrote, Dear Joel, I'm curious, can you take one thing, recycle it, and turn it into a new product? Well, Jamie, let's find out what happens to these milk jugs. What does it mean to be green? Plants that are green and tree leaves. Uh, to recycle? It means to to like recycle and to turn off water so that they are used. Recycle. Try to have our planet recycle whatever we can do it. It means to recycle. It means to be. Uh, environmentally safe with cars. I mean, there's clothing that's green now that's coming out. All right, to help us understand the recycling process with milk jugs, I'm here with Walter from Envision. How's it going? Pretty good. How about yourself? Doing well, doing well. So at Envision, what exactly do you do here? We recycle milk jugs. Milk jugs. Not cartons. Not cartons. No, cartons is from paper. All right, so they're called milk jugs. Milk jugs. Okay. <laughs> and uh, detergent bottles. You can see on the different colors, the detergent bottles and milk jugs. All right, that's a lot of detergent bottles over there too, huh? A lot. <laughs> All right, so now um, when, you, when you say recycle the milk jugs, what exactly, for those who don't understand it, what do you mean by recycling them? What it, what it means to me is that, uh, that we're saving the environment uh, by not dumping into the landfill. They've been taken away from, from um, the recycling places and we get them over here and then we separate them. Only the, cars, the, the milk jugs that we need. Okay. And then we take another plastics away from, from the milk jugs so it won't be no contaminants with the material. So uh, uh, even when they're bailed up in, the, in this form, you still have a lot of contaminants in here? Yeah, you can see like the paper. paper. Yeah. Aluminum. Oh, all right. So you have to take all that out of okay, here. Get all that out. And you're going to turn this into a new product? Yeah, exactly. Mm, interesting. All right. Very clean product at the end. Very clean product. Yeah. It's really dirty right now, huh? Yeah, but it's gonna, you're going to see at the end, it's going to be a, a, a pretty clean product. All right. So what's the first step? For you here at Envision, do, do you bail these or do they come bailed? They come bailed for that, like that. All right, so what's your first step then? Well, we put them in the conveyor belt mm -hmm. and we cut the, the wires and then we separate whatever contaminants is in the milk jugs. Okay. And then we run it to a, to a grinder. Uh, does somebody hand separate it out yeah. or do you this? I didn't bring gloves for today. I, I'm not going to work, am I? Uh, we can get you. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, I, I would say. Oh, my back. <laughs> oh, all right, so we're going to go separate, huh? Right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Fun fact, fun fact, fun fact. Here's your fun fact. Milk jugs and water bottles represent one of the largest volumes of plastic that end up in landfills. What is this guy doing? <laughs> <laughs>